much of the yellow as possible. Right, I'm using today blue tinted watercolour paper. This is going to be a very quick demonstration today because it's about to rain. <laughs> I'm not going to let that bother me at all. So I've got my Chinese hake. This hake I've used for so many paintings. I've had this for about 10 years now. So it's quite worn out, but I, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to be using that and a my favourite, probably one of these Chinese bamboo brushes made of wolf hair and then the other one is hog's hair. Look at that, aren't they great? Very elegant. Hi, today I'm in the idyllic Gillingham Forest area of North Dorset. It's not far from Silton where I've filmed Judge Wyndham Oaks and where I've done an art demonstration down by the river, the River Stour. So today we've come across a beautiful field. I think it's full of clover. It's an abundance of beautiful purpley pink clover. And this is a very rare sight to see it, you know, really full. So they're obviously growing it for livestock and um, it's, it's really good for the fields anyway and the soil. And I'm going to just do a wet and wet demonstration showing the landscape and using a three colour technique. scrap that cake and use this bigger brush. Okay, so we're going to do some lovely big washes. I've got this beautiful blue Bockingford tinted paper. It's a very grey sort of silvery blue. But I think it's great to try different coloured paper. Why not, you know? Okay, so I'm just mixing up a bit of that blue, which is permanent blue. This is gamboge, yellow gamboge, which I absolutely love. Permanent blue and magenta. Okay, so get a bit of that mixed up. And then we'll have a bit of that. We'll have a little bit of that we do have some grey clouds. Okay, here goes. We've got these very sort of, again, dramatic clouds hanging over this rustic natural area. It's all about creating the drama on the paper. And the most important thing is getting the sky right, particularly when you're doing sky and landscape. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the trees. studying these trees, thinking about the colours, the richness again, the olivey tones, and then I just, again, just kind of swirl the brush to create the shapes, because then it's more natural.
and then the underneath bits. So I'm, I'm really kind of simplifying, again, this landscape because there's a lot of trees all over the place. Okay, so I think we've got a grouping just down there and another grouping. You know, there's just trees everywhere, but you know, that's where you get a bit bogged down if you're not careful when you see so many trees, but don't worry about it. You know, it's just lots of broccoli shapes, isn't it? Again, you can like press your brush onto the paper. And then you just drag underneath. in this area has got the most amazing oak trees so to get those colors this time of year it's all olive colors and sagey greens and as you can see I am a type of artist just naturally tends to bring the distant landscape nearer to my eye. That's just something I naturally do. So just go with it if you're of that type of artist. Always go with your gut feelings. Just really feel it. Don't think about it too much. Never ever think too much. The more you think, then you hesitate, and then it looks too set. So, I'm going to cheat a bit. Why not? The clover fields look so amazing. I'm actually going to bring them all the way through and up to the distant hill beyond, because that's what you do when you're an artist. It would be a, bit, a lot more exciting if it was like that. So now I'm just kind of just dotting. I do that a lot, particularly when I do poppy scapes. I just want to create some of those shapes and patterns. Again, this is impressionist. It's not an illustration. It's all about impressionist, impressionistic and expressive. I'm just going to change to a different brush, like to my wolf hair brush, which I used in the last demonstration in, back in the Devrils. It's lovely silver birch. I'm trying to bring that in here.
And again, the trees in the distance are very dark. Hi, today I'm in the idyllic rustic area of Gillingham Forest. It's on the edge of North Dorset. It's been a very grey, sort of gloomy day. 
it's built up bit by bit. So I found today really hard because the sky has been changing so frequently and the light has and I look at that view and I found it very challenging because of all the trees. I tried to break it down, I did, but to do a really fast watercolour sketch I found that very hard. Um, I think I need to come back to this area and really study it. And the more I study it, I can see that there's so much in the hedgerows. I would like to do a detailed um, painting of the blackberries in front of me and the elderberries. I mean, it's stunning, all the natural wildflowers here. And pretty quiet, to say the least. We've had hardly any traffic go past us except someone trying to find somewhere to wild camp in a motorhome. So I've loved the challenge, but I have found it extremely hard. Um, and also, <coughs> excuse me, um, lots of trees. So when you get lots of trees in your landscape, you have to try and break it down. Of course, that's extremely hard if you don't know the area so well. So I hope you've enjoyed my art demonstration and everything that I've shown you and look forward to showing you another one soon. Bye for now.